Nask said also can confirm that some biracial men are dangerous. You are right. I know I'm right, and I got a lot of shit for that. The girls thought, and the boys thought, especially the light-skinned girls and boys thought, oh my god, you're colorist, you're racist, you're breaking down the community. Girl, I get that every week. But I say these things because historically that's how it's been. And I think it's important for um, women of color to understand and be truthful about the experiences that they are having, right? A lot of people are not talking about this, that oftentimes biracial men, light-skinned men, men with light eyes can be very dangerous because of their privileged upbringing. I always say that these men have the entitlement of a white man, but the trauma of a black man, girl, that combination, dangerous, narcissistic. I, I I always say put those guys in the same categories that you would put a policeman, um, fireman, military, pilot, surgeon, danger, stranger, stranger danger, right? And the gag is, and I want to speak specifically to the dark, dark, darker skinned women, these biracial men will go for you because they will feel like they are elevated versus you. Yeah. And sometimes you'll be like, oh my God, like as a darker skinned woman, I can't believe I got this pretty light skinned guy. No girl, because he wants to be put on a pedestal and he thinks that you will do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, do it at your own peril, girl, right? Just be very cautious, right? I mean, you see it with Simone Biles, girl. I think you saw it with Kiki. Dangerous. Dangerous. Wasn't that a Michael Jackson song? That's what I want you to think about when these light-skinned men are coming up. 